Good day everyone, Alice here from Sofi Financial Network. Today is February 21st, 2023. Here is the daily analysis uh, with you folks. SPY, which is S&P 500. Um, uh, this is S&P 500 chart. This is not SPY, sorry. And the market just closed. 4,000 area, which is very, very important, substantial sell-off today, and it is very, very important, um, kind of like a psychological level for the market. If you just uh, put like this one high, which is December top, coming down to this low, you are just testing a pullback or testing to 38% Fibonacci here. We just pierced all the way up to 50% and coming back down. So that could be kind of like... A reversal pattern is forming if we close below this uh, we can say probably we are going to test down at least to this pivotal point which is a 38 to 38 48 so that's going to be very very important level for the market and also um, if you just want to see a, a kind of like a uglier sell-off uh, scenario that would be this area so i think markets still have potential to go down to 35 to 3600 and even lower scenario would be 32 to 3400 which i just reopened it last week based on the confirmation on the weekly candle sell-off or weekly sell signal from SPY or S&P 500 ETF or even S&P 500 chart, which is very, very important. And also, uh, there is a nice divergence between these uh, two um, important areas. So this is a pivotal point. All indicators are showing like a reversal is happening and coming down. We have a good fair amount of support here, folks, around 39 to 30, uh, 9 81, which is kind of like four moving averages are coming along. It's just going to be a, break at ca a breakout candle here. Very, very important wide range war. So we are getting into lots of support technically. But if it doesn't hold, I would say probably the uglier scenario, at least for the short time, we can get to 37 to 3800. Then another rally probably to the upside to just pull back to the sell area and then coming down so this is just the first leg of the downside we are going to see probably abc down to get ready for a substantial rally after march i should say uh, first or second half of april all the way to august uh, time period so that is my cycle my cycle is very bearish as i said from especially second half of the february which kind of like um pushed uh pushed forward to um from the f uh, beginning of the february to the second half of the february but it's okay it doesn't matter cycle wise we are getting into seasonality bearish moment for the market march always 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 is a pivotal month for the market and if you just uh, want to zoom back here so this is the march 22nd bottom of the covid crash and this is february 19. today we are at february 21st and we are there so probably we'll see i'm not sure if it's going to be the same scale but we will see kind of like the same scenario we are going to see a sell-off and then in march especially um, last week of the march or second half of the march so we should see kind of like a bottom information in, in the market different indexes we have one month away and we are just uh, sitting on the side just putting our cash on the side and i just told you guys be patient sit tight opportunity is coming and i believe still we have uh, lots of room to get to our opportunity levels but we will get there so here is the early chart early chart we are getting back to this pivotal point market just showing kind of reversal probably we are in like abc down so probably we are seeing some kind of a pullback future market when it opens and also in new york market remember um today we had a walmart earning earning was not bad but the future guidance was pretty weak and they were very concerning so that's why walmart home depot just um, dragged the market to the negative territory today and tomorrow we will have nvidia earnings so we will talk about nvidia so that's going to be very very important because nvidia is kind of like a market leader in semiconductor index and 
today we just had like a sell-off in S&P 500 early chart we have tons of levels so the next level intraday action is going to be 39 uh, kind of like a 39.92 which market just pierced down and market just sitting at a 4000 level so it just appears down and probably we will get to this level to 39 uh, 69 to 39 78 so that's going to be the reversal point if we take out this well there are lots of supports and pivotal points here so you will see the lots of there i'm not paying attention to this until march period so moving on to nasdaq here is nasdaq chart here is nasdaq daily chart we will get back probably to this support area tons of moving averages are converging to each other so we have got this consolidation nice breakout after that so again price action wise moving average wise and also stochastic is getting back to oversold condition it doesn't mean that it's going to just reverse back all the way we just got the signal from daily chart but however weekly chart which is very very important just signal sell signal this week so i told you last week and also um, the previous week market has been topped and this week just the follow through with bear reversal stochastic in weekly chart so any bounce in daily chart would be probably selling opportunity as i said and if you are still uh, down we need to get like rsi down macd probably getting back to very very oversold at least below this to give us kind of like a hidden divergence to the upside i would say 11,000 still is going to be a possibility 10,200 uh, to 10,600 that's going to be the second scenario and the third scenario which is going to be a lower low still early stage to say that but we are definitely getting a lower downsides target uh, by getting to the month of March so early price action we had this um, sell-off and sell-off to be honest just continuing all the way to the last hour of the trading session we are getting back to this pivotal point this is a demand area probably will get a bounce so this bounce probably to this area to this pivotal point to this pivotal point any of these if we see this a bounce if you see there is a bounce so that's going to be a selling opportunity to coming down to the next demand area which is gonna be here somewhere around here so 10,000 sorry 11,500 to 11,700 so that's going to be decent support for the Nasdaq moving on to Dow Jones and Dow Jones uh, let me go to the daily chart here's the Dow Jones daily chart ugly price action today for Dow Jones look at that so finally this triangle breaking out to the downside so i just told you this triangle is very very important if we break out either way that's going to be massive uh, be uh, bullish or bearish structure happening but remember again refer to previous videos i told you this is kind of like a topping formation at least to getting for the first level 32,000, i believe 31,000 and 30,000. that's going to be great bottom or buying opportunity so let's wait again keep uh, keep your cash in your pocket sit tight and wait for the buying opportunity price is coming back to us folks probably not in a straight line but it's coming like in choppy and sloppy coming down and we will get back to that one all right so moving on to early chart for the Dow Jones pretty quick so here's the early chart and uh, we'll see even it doesn't uh, keep up this pivotal point just the bounce and then coming down and probably to this area this area the lots of uh, support here look at the pivotal points here so if you want to just uh, mention it or mark it in our chart this area would be very very important the first target is going to be here the second target is going to be 32,821 which is going to be a bounce I believe it's going to be a bounce any bounce would be selling opportunity moving on some sectors individual stocks and um, indexes here is the VIX I told you VIX is showing some kind of reverse head and shoulder. This is a pullback and VIX is ready for a pop. Here it is. VIX just had a very, very nice uptick today. 7.72% up, 1.64% um, dollar up sitting at uh, 22 dollar for now 22.87 i believe vix is getting ready for this wide range bar this wide range bar somewhere around 24 to 26 for the first target ultimate target which is going to be 30 to 31 or even 32 in the march period so sit tight 
Dixie had a very, very nice optic today. So Dixie just sitting at 104.2. Everyone was bearish on Dixie here. And I told you, here's the top uh, bottoming formation. Just Dixie is getting back to the reversal. And right now we are just breaking above this. If you just uh, drag um, or draw a trend line from here to here, we just broke above this. So this ABC pop is going to be a corrective move for dollar. Probably that's going to be a last chance to sell here because dollar ultimately is going to go lower than market bottom in March period. Apple today, pretty nice down tick today, $4.7 cents, 2.67 cents, uh, 7 percent down. Apple just sitting at 1.8, uh, 148.48. If Apple goes below, here is my mark from previous video, if, if Apple goes below 148.8, that's going to be very, very ugly sort of probably it's coming back down to 137 to 135, which is coming pretty fast, to be honest, probably just a small pause at 142, but it's going to come down here to this area and probably forming kind of reverse head and shoulder. And we will see what's the time period for Apple. But um, again, if it doesn't hold this pivotal point, or even it comes below this. So Apple is going to be very, very ugly. The first target is going to be 112, then 97 to 106. Still, it's going to be very, very early stage. We are at 148. That's going to be a massive sell-off if it get there. I hope if it get there. So I'm going to deploy my money there because that's going to be great buying opportunity. Even if you have Apple, don't worry about that. That's going to be great buying opportunity too dollar cost average. Amazon, the next one, nice down tick today, 2.770% down, $2.62 loss for Amazon. This is a nice head and shoulder, nice bear flag here. All patterns coming together and probably we are getting back to 91. And I'm not sure even if we can hold up this level for long. And this double bottom or even lower, that's going to be a possibility. I'm going to be buyer and Amazon here, not right there. I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting. Meta, the next one, just lost 80 cents today. Meta was positive today. The most strongest one among the other fangs and even technology one was Meta. But last hour of the trading session, Meta just sharply sold off. All the buyers just disappeared and sellers took control of the Meta. And we will see Meta 147, 160 probably in next few weeks. It's going to be a possible scenario for Meta. Microsoft pretty sharp sell-off look at that even goes below this trend line right now i should say microsoft is coming back to 220 so 220 to 240 that's going to be a great uh, decisive moment for microsoft if it doesn't hold this trend line microsoft is coming back down to sub 20 dollar uh 200 dollars sorry so again just have this one in your eyes I'm just right around the corner. If this one doesn't hold here, Microsoft is coming back down here. So I'm going to just uh, deploy my money again to Microsoft. I've got cash for a month and a half. I'm just telling you, sit tight because I was waiting <clears throat> for this moment. Still, we have got uh, time to get to our level. Google, down tick today. So $2.00. 50, uh, 56 uh, cent uh, down and uh, Google just showing kind of like the weaker one among the other uh, fang stock. So Google top first coming down sharply. This is a nice bear flag which just triggered today actually just if you take this pivot to the upside. I told you this is a, a selling opportunity. So don't be fooled or don't fool yourself. This is coming back up. This is just a selling opportunity. This uh, kind of like a gap up and then gap down. This is island or abandoned baby, whatever you want to call, call it. I call it as a, like an island gap. And uh, this is going to be very, very uh, strong reversal pattern to the downside. Netflix was um, just forming a head and shoulder coming down. Um, everything was expected, actually. 3% down, $10 loss for Netflix today. Netflix, even after hours, it goes lower. Uh, just a tw uh, 20 cents lower. Netflix, 251 to 75. That's going to be a good uh, bottoming formation. Again, when all these uh, stocks are coming together to uh, to our level with a good timing, probably that's going to be a good scenario. Tesla, finally sell off very, very aggressively. 5%. This is what we want 
to see from Tesla because when we see some kind of like a good distribution, $10 loss in Tesla, 5%, 525%, Tesla is coming back down here and probably lower we will get back to this symbol for new all-time high with call option. So just bear with me. Again, sit tight. It's coming. It's coming to us. SMH, which is semiconductor index, nice sharp sell-off. Just engulfed this wide range bar. It's coming back down to this neckline. Socks the same pattern here. So sharp sell-off engulfing this wide range bar. This is a consolidation just after breakout at this neckline. So probably we will see support or bounce from this area. But it's not going to be a long last and probably one day or two days um, a bounce and then coming back down again probably to this level i'm not sure if it holds this area everything depends on the nvidia tomorrow tsm taiwan semiconductor pretty sharp sell of taiwan semiconductor is going to be here i believe it's going to come down to this pivotal point to this gap this is a nice um, institutional level 80 to 82, that's going to be a good level for time of semiconductor. TSM, AMD coming down sharply. 2%, uh, 2.20% down. Pretty ugly sell-off, uh, broad base, I should say, today. And uh, everything was very, very crazy. NVIDIA, 3%, 3.43% down. $7.33 loss. And NVIDIA is coming down. No one wants to keep this stock prior earning. That's interesting, huh? So NVIDIA had a very, very substantial move to the upside since October 12. But right now, we are seeing sharp sell-off is coming back down. Is it going to be the same pattern like this? I don't know. I don't think so. NVIDIA is coming back probably to this level. If it comes here, to be honest, that's going to be very, very bearish. Probably a QM pattern. And it's going to be... Uh, more than March bear market. So we should see how market is going to react to the next level. I'm not going to forecasting again. My forecast was there for 2023. If you haven't seen that video, make sure watch that video because 2023 would be bullish year, but first half of the year, or I should say first quarter of their year would be very, very choppy and it shows the bottoming formation. Texas Instruments, sharp sell-off. I told you if we break below this level, it's going to come down sharply. And right now, Texas Instrument is just coming back down. This pivotal point, probably just a short-term bounce or doji, but it can go all the way down to here to this pivotal point and even lower as well. So uh, keep an eye on that. Lamb Research just getting back to the first one actually in semi semiconductors getting back to the trend line or kind of like a, a neckline for the reverse head and shoulder. We will see if it holds up pretty well. We will see a bounce, which potentially we will see a bounce, but ultimately I'm looking for this level or this level. All right, so I think I covered everything. If you like this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we will come back with lots of analysis and good videos. Have a good one, guys. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.